Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the deep winter inside of Lonsville. Absolutely gorgeous as always. We are loving it. I hope you're all well guys. Welcome yourselves back. We are just in the winter of year 27 here. Now in the last episode we started uh, doing a few extra things. We've got a second chicken barn in. It's still a bit messy. I will be tidying this up a little bit more. We've got a goat barn and the cow barn set up, but they are turned off at the moment. We will be getting those in when we can, so we're going to be working on bumping that up a little bit more and we're upgrading all our hunter shacks so the plan for now is improving theater's going to go over here by the way um we're we're basically trying to improve all of our houses all of our food all that jazz as well all the houses are kind of tier three now so they're in a good place i'm doing a bit of a crisscross flatten here as we thaw out so the plan is to obviously get all of this in we're getting our furniture that's the main focus today a good amount of furniture Oh, there we have it. Into year 28. We're looking good. The bear is chasing and getting pelted. I hope you die. Yes, free food. <laughs> we'll take it. Yeah, hopefully we'll get the furniture in once that's flattened as well, but we're looking good. All right, you can see we're uh, pretty much down on gold as well, but what we're going to do, we've got plenty to transfer out, so I'm going to bring some more in to get those upgrades done. We're going to continue to try and get some of this these items in. Now, the amount of clay we can get is actually in a good place as well. We did up our soap production too, so there should be something that we can sell pretty well here. Now, I'm going to, as always, keep hold of the shoes, and I'm going to get a second tannery in now. I think that's important. So I'm just scrolling down. Easier if I just open this. 18, yeah, a second tannery. Let's open our laborers slash builders as well. We're building a lot at the moment. We obviously have our nine soldiers as well. I'm desperate to try out some horsemen. I'll be honest. So... I think that's what we're going to do. I know we don't really have the people to do it. The traders having to come all the way around. <laughs> you can come through the gate, mate. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Over the mountain, the treacherous journey he's faced. This flattening's just not working for that, though. I think I need to come in the other way, so I'm just going to do it from here. Try that and see if this works here, and then we'll see if we can also get our furniture in. It's looking pretty damn flat now, so don't care about those predators. And we're also able to obviously make bookbinder and paper mill now as well. So they're, they're not what we're going to be looking into yet because we're not quite into that stuff yet. But that will be something we need to consider for this as well. So we're not going to go pub. Theatre's there. But the apothecary, no. And then it's these ones. So we've got the library, the guild hall, and the crypt. Crypt's going to be good. I haven't used that before because I didn't play the previous update. But anyway, I am getting sidetracked once more. Let's get <laughs> this in. Please allow me. All right, it's definitely working because I can see that it's flattening, but it's not as effective as I'd like just yet. So I'm going to keep going. Be fair, it's probably easier if I come the air. I can see the bumps if I do this. So let's just focus that. Okay, that should work. And I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this tower as well. So we'll get that one in. I'm also going to prioritize that one to get it done nice and fast as well. And then we're going to focus on this trader when they are in. Hopefully I can get this also sorted so lots of flattening to do all right let's go deal with this then is there anything we can sell to you a dear dear trader oh man vices are dirt cheap i'm going to slowly bring some more of these in as well not loads just enough to keep them sitting in our storage at the moment until we're ready now what have you got luxury goods last 20 percent longer that's actually a good one for that type of thing sand at a major reduced rate as well so let's you capitalize on that while we can we're very unfortunate here that uh Masuk has got 7k, but nothing to sell. This is why I want the furniture in, because they sell like crazy. That's a shame, though. That is a massive shame. That's fine. Obviously, the swords would be a good sale as well, but we want to get a bit of a surplus on those anyway. We're still waiting for more gold, so I'm going to go ahead and transfer a little bit more out. Let's grab 500 more out into our store here. And let's plow through. Let's see if we can get this going. Lots of livestock being born. That will be our second. Yeah, look at this. I don't know what's happening with this, I'll be honest. I don't know why it says that. Yeah, I don't know what's happened to this. Seems to be pretty bugged, but that's fine. It might just be because we're overlapping on this, to be fair. We could always test that and see if that is the case. So what I can do is manage the walls here and just actually bring this over by one or two. We set the grazing area to not overlap, so we pop it right there. That means we just need to bring it up to here. That smoker obviously needs to be moved. No problem. Let's get that one done, and then let's get this fence back in. We should be fine. I'm just, just trying to utilize it as good as we can here. They'll go as far as it'll allow me to do that, I think. That should do. 
I don't know whether that's the cause of this. Let's also upgrade that well whilst we can. And that is a good one. We covered all over there then as well. That bear is absolutely munching us. All the hunters trying to help. <laughs> I love it, man. It's funny. We haven't got anything, obviously, defending over here. But the hunters will do the job anyway. So there we go. And then the archers kick in. All right, anyway. Furniture. Furniture. Let's focus. I've pressed my blink and I need to stop doing that. I keep uh, selecting my archers to speed up and slow down time because it's now the hotkeys have obviously changed. Is it now? Okay. All right, it goes there. That'll do. We'll pop it right there for now. No road up to it. We'll just keep it in and we'll continue to flatten that out. So let's... Uh, that is working. It's just taking a little bit of time. So let's keep going. There is another trader which I will need to check out. So let's do that. Yes. Although he doesn't have money, this is annoying. The barn's almost ready. How's the barn doing? Planks. Have it. We could get this barn in, hopefully. They're sending some over. Just one more batch and we should get that done. What we will do is sell what we can, though, for now. So 1,500. That's almost all of them, but he's going to have no gold left. So oh, crossbows are a good one here as well. Look at this. Again, no money to obviously do it, though. So we're going to leave that. Maybe buy some cheese and or something bolster up this. Tell you what, let's treat the let's treat the lads. What have we got here? Shields and hide coat provide. Nope. Uh, treat the peasants to a bit of cheese. Why not? Sell the rest of these. And maybe some candles, actually. That's pretty good. We'll get those in as well. And I wouldn't mind being able to grab two cows if we can. That would set us going nice and quick with that one. He's going to be too slow, though. Anyway, furniture shop going in. So that's obviously going to build as well. There's going to be a lot of planks coming in. I do. There's another trader coming. I want to... Why can't we grab that? Ah, oh, recruitment costs 100 on one of those as well. All right. Definitely need to wait, then. All right, we managed to sell all those candles to that one. We'll wait for that other trader to come in. There he is. All right, so what have you got for me, trader number three? They're buying soap. Nice. Uh, more horses. What's that one? Flax crops produce 50% more yield. No, not good. All right, we'll make the money then. That's not the end of the world. We're going to need more tools, though. We'll take that. Good bit of cash. Uh, what I'll do is transfer a bit more in again. Then, I'm going to look into these, because actually, we want to produce a little bit more. How's our raw iron doing? But I think we're okay to bump that up by one, and then we're going to have to get in. What is it that makes the shields? Hold on. There's a different production building, isn't there? Or am I being daft? Yeah, armory. There we go. Right, it's time to get the armory in. I think we can squeeze it in here. We can. Let's get the armory in there as well. It's going to cost another 300 gold, and then we'll start start getting those in as well might be time to upgrade these towers i'm concerned because we're going to get attacked and i'll probably be upgrading in the middle of it but we do need to get our food going a little bit more now that still hasn't fixed this issue so let's get our fence in still confused by that might just be a visual bug i'm not sure but they don't seem to be slaughtering them either so let me i'll set one to be slaughtered now there we go that puts that down to 10 we'll see how much meat you get from one chicken that shouldn't be a problem we've got our two coops there that shouldn't be too much of an issue oh there it is don't think we're in time, but this this fits in. They're going to graze around there. Uh, let's see if we can. Did we did we match it in time? We did. Okay, L there's three cows. We're going to get all three. Yes, we have cows, baby. All right, we can start our cheese process, and that's going to be a good food maker as well. So uh, I think we're going to need how many people looking after them? Let's just go with four. And then we need the cheese maker. Oh, man, we are way down on food. Probably go ahead and uh, set this at a two to We are being raided two to one. They're coming over the mountains. Uh, of course they are. Of course they are. That's fine. We can bring our archers in ready. So let's get them over here. Then we're going to ring the bell. And we're going to see. So coming over the mountain. Miners beware. I wish they'd come in because we've rung the bell. Okay. So they're all coming the same way, which is good. So they're all going to come at this though. Right? So we're going to need... How many have we got? 54. Jesus, man. Let's slow down. So that, the tower started pelting them. It's missing every shot, it seems. Either that or I haven't got my uh, health bars on. There we go. <laughs> cool. They're all coming this way straight for over here. We've got the one tower. We've also got the archers, so that is fine. I'm not quite sure why... They've done that. This doesn't shoot until you've recruited. All right, we've managed to pull some of them away. I'm going to go out here then. See if they'll get a couple of shots at these guys. That tower started as well. Nice. So hopefully the archers will deal some damage here. 
defensive stance. Are you going to fight or... Okay, you can't have hold position up. They, they're actually ignoring my archers here. <laughs> Let's back them up. Let's go back here. Oh, don't die. Come on. Come here. All right. Villager has died. We're fine. They're, they're, they're all spread out. How many have we killed? That is a lot, though. We're going to have to bump up. We need normal soldiers, then. It's going to be a big focus. Maybe a couple more towers. We've got the money. They don't seem to be attacking, though, unless I tell them to. Offensive stance. Maybe that's better. Let's try that. Yeah, that's working a little bit. You've got to be careful, because these, uh, these soldiers do serious damage against them. Obviously, we can't shoot through there. Actually, I don't think... I think we're fine. Then let's just get... We can shoot through the gate, right? Oh, we've killed loads. Yes. Yeah, we need soldiers to stand in front of them and then we can use these. But they actually did nothing here, so that's great. We're going to... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll more than more than take that. That is absolutely fine. We can turn off this now. Oh, select all Archie. Okay, I got you. You don't even need to hotkey them because it'll do it anyway. I think they're going back to their barracks anyway. All right, good defense. That was more than I expected. So I, I don't think this will shoot until it's got thingies in it. They, they're coming straight over the mountain as well. So it'd be good. I think it is going to be a good idea to do something with this. Anyway, let's transfer some of our gold over. What I'm going to do is transfer... 300 gold and I'm just going to pause it a second and I'm going to go and grab three horsemen it lets me more gold is needed to train this unit why? ah uh, someone nabbed the gold the moment it was taken there we go took a while we want to grab the monthly cost is horrendous though gonna wait guys it's just that monthly cost I think but that again will then allow them to shoot archers I'd like horseback archers that would be bit OP though, I think. Now we can safely upgrade these towers when we can as well. We absolutely plowed through all those planks, but we got everything we needed over here as well. All right, let's focus more on this food again then. So we've got two performing chicken barns now. We've got cows in. We'll get goats in when they're available and we're eating the horses. I think we need a fourth farm now. It is time. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and grab a gate straight on here. And we're going to bring the road through. What I'm going to do is actually just extend the other one. So I'm just going to bring this road up here so we can see. Then I'm going to get another farm ready. We'll start plowing this one down. An apiary there. So I might just pop it over here for now. Pretty sure you can expand the already done farms anyway. So we're going to go max size with another farm over here. And then I'll fence around that when ready. I think we can see the edge anyway, which is nice. It's all a bit too steep around here, unfortunately, so we're going to need to do <laughs> a little bit of flattening. And there we go. That should be fine. All right, let's see where we're at over here with the defenses as well. So I'm going to carve this out. And if they do come this way, to be honest, though, we should utilize this and get like a tower or two up here just in case they come over. And when we get all our mines set up, that would be really sensible anyway. All right, are we seeing any furniture here? That should up these. So let's get... Right, how many can we get in? Not too many. I'm going to go with five. We'll try it. That'll be like slightly less labors, but that's okay. I also think on the wood we only need two people, so I'm going to do that. I could set some more, like, reserves on things as well. And we've also got our halberks and shields. So I'm going to leave a, yeah, a creation of two of each for their halberks will go onto the horsemen anyway. And then we want another barracks with some uh, normal soldiers in at some point as well. And uh, I'm actually going to strip out this wall soon. So we'll pop a gate there and then we'll bring the stone wall. All right, slope too steep, but we'll bring it into there. There's one piece that we need to make sure we grab for that bit there. So I'll just flatten that in and we'll get the last piece in there. That'll encompass this and then I'm going to destroy out all of this section. I could probably get away with doing it now, actually. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we're going to want these. I'll leave that piece for now just to hold that against. Let's get our... Actually, let's just fix it. We could do this whilst it's going. That in. Perfect. And then we'll keep going along here. Salvage. I don't think we're getting attacked before this walls will be built. So we'll go straight away with that. They're being really quick anyway. Then we'll grab in these last two. 
Boom. All right, that gives us another little edge here. That's more space to build also in here. So if we can flatten this out, we'll be good. Let's check storage. All right, everything's looking really good. Where did they put those barrels? That's what I want to know. I bought 25 of them, and you don't seem to have put them in any of the good buildings. All right, traders are coming in. I'm going to start transferring in what we can so we have them. It might be worth us building the barracks also. Now, we might not use it just yet, but we want one over at our keep area. We'll probably need to wall something in over here. Now, to be fair, if I flatten that, that might be a good spot. So it's separate from this, and they can cover each other while shooting. So let's get this food store moved. And in all honesty, I think it can go over here. We'll prioritize that one whilst it's coming in. And we've got more traders coming as well. Ten livestock born. Yes, I like seeing these numbers. This one is going crazy. What is going on? Oh, okay, that's almost max. I still don't know what's going on with that one. That has 20, <laughs> 15 in it. That's fine by me. Did we get a cow? No, we didn't. Okay. Why isn't that green? Not sure why. I'm going to keep that down. It looks like it could have been horses. Or just a bunch of chickens. <laughs> Who knows? Right, how's the next one coming along? Okay, they're all working really hard to get that one going. What have we got going here? Weed levels are going pretty high again, but that's fine. Okay, Mr. Trader, this this is what we like to see. And some chunky weapons here for a reduced rate. So let's sell these off them. We'll take them for two and a half K. And with this reduced, what's that one? Increased duration of shoes, linen, and coats by 20%. That's not bad, but I'm gonna go ahead and buy a few of these. Do I wanna, yeah, we'll grab four of those in. Why not? When we get our first few uh, thingies, halberks and those, they'll be absolutely annihilating some of those, so. I'm thinking about, actually, now that I'm flattening these out, move this up even more. We could do a defensive point up here, be really weird with it, and make this a defensive thing. Now, it's going to take some doing to flatten that out. Let's do it. Let's actually do it. I've decided that we're going to go up into here. I'm going to attempt to kind of flatten this out. So the spawns are a little bit different. So if they come down this way... They're going to get pounded. And that gives us a bit more build space, actually. Believe it or not, we could quite easily make this into more of this stuff, right? I should probably set a limit on the charcoal to make use of that, maybe. Because we definitely don't need that many in. Next traders are coming as well, which is nice. Are we getting some furniture in over here now? Not quite. Let's start selling those spices. Is that only on the last tier housing, then? So we can upgrade medical. That's not an issue just yet, either. And let's go back in. All right, clothing for cheap. I will just go ahead and sell those. Take all the gold that we can at the moment. What's that one? Blacksmiths and armories work 20% faster. Pretty good one. Uh, obviously, it's a lot. And let's buy in. Let's bolster up our tools a little bit here. Just to kind of keep them going. Boards are cheap. That's good. Stone, a little bit cheaper, but we're not going to grab that. Halberks, obviously, we are producing them again now anyway. So I'm not going to do that either. And look at this. I think getting in another tannery would be a very good idea. The problem I have as always, is population. It's tempting to probably turn off one of these, though, and be more reliant on... I'm going to lose the weapons, though. I don't know if they put them back. I don't think they do. I'm going to do it anyway. We're going to turn that one off. That will save us another five gold. And then we'll continue to upgrade these when we've got the stone. At the moment, I'm not going to select a load for it. Oh, my God. 14. Ask again, and I shall receive. Jeez, man, that's nearly 300. Not bad. Would like to get a second one in here then, because that's going to use the pelts a little bit more and actually make use of them. So we'll be making two or three a year. So defense-wise, we're going to get another barracks. And where do we want this one? I said I was going to put it here, right? And there we go. We can get barracks in right there. That's going to cover this area as well, and we'll do a bit more trading here. So what have we got? <laughs> Nothing. We could obviously turn this on and upgrade it. So we hit our quota a little bit quicker. Let's maybe do that. And then we can get more furniture pumping. Where the hell did I put it? All right, it's over here. I'm confused by my own base now because we're almost walled in. <laughs> Obviously, they can still come in through this one. Uh, but they typically will hopefully go for the gate that's open over here. All right, quick check of desirability. So over here, you're struggling massively, aren't you? How about we upgrade your, uh, your garden trail there? Maybe yours. Get a few of these upgraded then. That might help us here. A couple of the smaller gardens will do good to be upgraded. I want to get this one done, but I also want to get this flagpole done. Smaller ones are cheaper, though, so let's just focus on those. 
Looks a lot nicer now this is open though, I won't lie to you. That does give us a bit more space over here as well. Let me just quickly look. Can we fit a house here? I, I think we can, you know, and I think I'm gonna. I reckon we could squeeze one here. Like that. Let's do it. No problem. Monthly cost is 45 for then. I think we can go ahead and get a couple of light infantries here. So what does the light infantry wear? Alberks and shields. Nice. So, let's go ahead and get... Uh, what's the monthly cost? 25. Let's get four of those. Again, name for these. If you want to grab that in, let me know as well. Let's go ahead and start to get those, though. We've got the weapons anyway, so they're only going to grab these until we get the heavy ones. And then we'll get some more shields in. Perfect. Swords and shields, so that makes me feel pretty happy. But our attacks are almost at like 60-odd raiders now. They're not the big boys, but that's still a fair few. Look at that. We managed to get the, the wall in there. That looks good. That looks really good. Let's keep the flattening going then. So this looks good up here. More than happy with that. we just got to try and figure out how we're going to get a road up through it. So I'm probably going to bring it from here. I'm going to attempt to get it done. I'll try my best to try and bring that down. I think we can, though. That's nice and flat anyway. So we're going to want to bring it from there, going into there. I'm going to do that one a couple of times to see if that'll work. And then hopefully our next farm will be ready for rotation as well, which it is. Perfect. So I kind of missed the year there, but that's fine. We're going to go ahead and grab those in. I'm going to do that. And then this year we'll go with some of those and some of those. That'll do. And we'll get our food going in another two years there. You get so many more eggs from these now as well. I still don't know if they're viable, guys. I don't know. Like 120 meat from that one. We're not obviously slaughtering any in there, so we'll have the max in there at the moment. I'm still not sure what's going on with this barn, but... All right, look at our gold now. So I think the furniture is finally starting to sell, and because of that, we're now going to need our rat catcher in. We'll get our very first one going, and let's just pop him right here. So what I'm going to do with this one is cover all of the storage around here, I think, and a few houses. And I'm also going to continue getting some of this wall upgraded over here for the time being. Maybe these ones. We're not covering this massively, but maybe these here, actually, this corner. Get those upgraded. And we're seeing our first lot of villagers now die from old age. I wonder if my hunters, since I upgraded them, have bugged out then. I'm going to remove their things because I can't tell whether it's playing up. All right, let's get this over here. It should be absolutely fine. I'm just seeing, like, our meat was really low, but it was the end of the year, so we've got some smoke, but there's no, like, raw meat in, which I'd expect to see some more, and he should be doing good. Let's go excavate this one as well. I'm just going to let them slowly excavate that site, and then we'll see if we can get another decent relic out of that one. i uh, got a rat problem over here as well. Okay. Right, housing's getting pretty low, so let's actually fill in a few more of these gaps. The barrels are blinking over here. They've put them all in the marketplaces first. That makes sense. Right, we're going to want a little slot for some gardens through there. Let's also grab one or two over here. I think that covers all of this area. And then a couple up there as well. The bear is obviously coming in, facing our villagers away. All right, Mr. Ratcatcher, can you do your thing and cover our storage buildings, please? Get rid of those. We're going to have problems with them in our housing now as well. So we're, gonna, <laughs> we're probably going to need a few of them. I'll be honest with you. Which is a little bit frustrating. They're annoying. We could fit them inside of there, but that's pointless. There's a spot right there. I could then go and put this one to kind of cover this area over here. All right, I'm just going to grab the infantry units a second. And I'm going to hotkey those on the second one. So if I press number two, we should have some soldiers now. And there they are with their swords. Welcome to Lonsville's major defense plan, my friends. All right, we're completely fenced in apart from this little tiny corner over here, which is frustrating. Let me flatten that. And we've got our last fence piece in as well. Let's speed it up. Let's go through. Still struggling with food, obviously. I'm still not concerned because this one farm's going to pick that up. But what I do need to do is make sure the workers are down to about seven here. So they're doing their weed job here. Let's get that sand in as well. And second rat catcher, you shall be put over here cover all those the main housing estate is covered now that should be fine now one thing i will say is by moving this wall this way actually this tower is slightly higher so if they come at this bit we're actually very vulnerable here that's a problem for another day let's check in 
How are we doing on this? So at the moment we've got a good amount of swords coming in. Not seeing the shields yet. I think they're still trying to grab them. And unfortunately our first trader, although we can move some of this stuff in and make some money actually. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's get all this topped up. You know what? We've got that many pelts and we're getting that many in. Have some. We'll sell some. That's fine. All right, we could. Uh, everything's at an increased rate. Wow, you're tight. Okay, the fish is good. How about we buy in some of your fish then? Treat the people. Some smoky fish. I wonder if they're all bugging out then. Let's check. Maybe we could up the amount of fish we're getting. Uh, we're trying stuff out. I wonder if it's the smokers that are struggling then. Let me check in with those. Maybe we could get away with getting some more of those guys in. Maybe a meat one then. So we have been moving that one over. That might be our problem. 460. Although, are we matching that? I think we're okay. I'll be honest with you. I think the one is still fine. Anyway, let's uh, let's make some coin from these. Anything you guys can bring in that we can sell to this trader is good. And the pelts are in. And the soap. There we go. So we'll leave that. We're almost 5k sat in there. and we get, The gold's actually ticking up nicely now. Let's check storage and those problems. We're good. Quick check in on the farms. What have we got here? Turnips and cabbages. Fine. Let's actually do one of this. Let's see if we can squeeze in. Turnips are going to have a problem there. These weed levels are still going up massively. It's kind of weird. Oh, look at this one. I take that back. You are incredible. And that's because we're going with these. The problem is I like the peas to bring it back up. Get rid of that. We can get rid of that. And then we'll go... I think you bring it back up, don't you? Let's do that. And then... You're looking good. Weed levels are low, but that is fine. We're getting a double cabbage from you. So we should be okay. Oh, we're on zero months of food here. I reckon the rats might be eating all the food up. No problem. Let's grab another one in. Another rat catcher and we'll fix that problem. I think we're getting raided again. And it's all from over here. How are you guys getting in? I'm confused. It has completely changed. Interesting. Get all our soldiers over then. Oh, you can stay in, actually. Uh, melee soldiers, though. You do need to come over. Why are you so unhappy? I guess it's the food, right? Oh, yeah, they're having to come all the way around the river here. That is crazy. Being told there's raiders coming this way now as well? I don't know. It seems to be bugging out maybe the arrows. We'll kind of leave that then. Got one tower off over here, so we do need to be careful. A party of 11 has shown up over here. They've started shooting at me. Might even be able to take those out with my uh, my soldiers, actually. Let's bring them over. What are you doing to my house? Just a bowman. Got my soldiers coming anyway, so let's see if we can kind of go help out. Because he just decided to go and smash down a few of my housing. Where are they? There's got to be more coming. This is weird. Oh, well. Are these raiders? Yes, they are. Let's go deal with them. But the first taste with our swordsmen here. Speed it up because we are chasing them at the moment. Let's go in. Then we'll slow it down. I'm going to hack these down pretty quick, I think. Oh, yeah. One swipe. I don't know what this party of 11 is all about. Very strange, but I don't know. Maybe they're stuck behind the river. I, I'm really not sure what's going on here. <laughs> 24? Oh my god, you can have 24 in each. Is that right? No way, I didn't even realise. Oh man, look at that. They've upped the amount you can have in. I still don't know why that's red, but that is crazy. You can have 24 chickens to a barn, so 12 chickens per person then. Nice, how's this farm looking then? Alright, this is looking really, really good here. I think we can get away with probably not having these. We'll do the one fertility, and then we'll get straight into a bit of food here. So let's see what we can get in the first one. Let's go with... Let's get some cabbages on the go. Why not? And I think we're going to need another composter. So that is definitely going to be something that's going to be a problem anyway. So let's grab one more in, and let's pop it next to this one. Absolutely fine. And there we go. We're seeing some food come in now. And then there's one food store, actually. Although you should be doing it. Oh, it's just out. All right, let's get this one moved then. Because he's just out. Let's get you over there. I think that's covering it. No, that's not covering it. Oh, we're too tight knit here. There we go. Perfect. Let's get it in there. All right, I'm going to change this up now and I'm going to turn back on the normal pickling now as well. I think that might be one of the problems here. So we're going to get them pickling the veg as well. That should be fine. 
Let's, let's get that going, and that might give us a little bit more food there. And then we need to work on the cheese maker because we are getting milk in. And that would be probably something that's going to save us here. Uh, so if we turn off the... It's almost like if we get cheese maker in here, that would be cool. Be a long, long old walk for them to go, though. I get it there. That's fair. And then we could turn off the food stores in a lot of these as well. Still don't know what's going on with this raid here. It's not showing up on my thing. And only 11 is weird. Okay, we're still not making as much furniture as I'd like, so I'm going to keep getting that one going as well, and we're going to get... So we're making 11 per year. That's keeping our gold reserves pretty high. And then for inside of the planks, we're going to make sure we have got enough people to counter that and make sure planks are still coming in. Bricks are looking okay. Stone is low. Clay is looking fantastic. So actually... Let's go ahead and free up a little bit of clay work there and get those guys doing something more efficient. What I could do is actually cap this. That would be a better thing. I don't think you can do it on these. Okay, you can only do it on producible resources because I would love to do that. What I'm going to do is potentially buy in some more cows for the next one as well. I think we'll, we'll focus the cows in a little bit because they're not getting as much out of them as I'd like. Obviously, we're getting some milk, that which is great. But we're not getting as much as I'd like birth rate. There's zero at the moment. So a couple more buying in should fix that. All right. I think it's time, guys, for the theater. So theater is officially going to cover everything if I put it here. So I want to face it that way. And what we're going to do is work out our logistics and decorating here for it as well. So it's going to be really nice. Uh, flattening. Look at this. We're almost there to be able to get a road up in there, I think. So this is going to be good. Let's carry on flattening. So we're going to go like this, I think. And we're going to continue to bring this up as far as it will let me. And then we'll go like this. Doing it in the wrong blinking row. Absolutely fine. We'll grab in two more. And then we should be... Wait me on it. From you, we're going to bring that up again. And again. And then we're going to go from you. And I'm going to bring this out here. And that should be good, because then we'll be able to grab our deep stone deposits up here as well. And we'll be nice and flattened to actually work in this area. This can be moved up. That's going to be the plan. So if I can wall this in and move this, this guy up here. Horses galloping down from the top. That'd be insane. All right, I'm going to slowly work in some wooden defenses over here now. And I think we're going to try and bring it over from here. So I'm going to come up. Then I'm going to bring it this way. So I'm thinking... Uh, let's go up, actually, a little bit more. There is a clay deposit that we could utilize there, but I don't think we're going to. Oh, there's the other raiders. I think they finally showed up. Or is there a raider camp? Oh, I know what it is. It's the relic site. Sorry. Ah, oh, I'm an idiot. Come on out, soldiers. Let's go deal with this. They come to the relic site, don't they? I completely forgot about that. Anyone screaming at the screen before this point, I'm a I apologize. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I think my hunters are trying to shoot at them, though, which is hilarious. That makes perfect sense. I'm an idiot. So we're going to bring our soldiers over. And we're going to just fight them. Go and kill them. There you go. They've only got clubs anyway, so we should be more than fine. More than capable of killing all these. He says, and then they struggle. One at a time, guys. There we go. Well done, guys. Village was raided. There we go. That was the raiders it was talking about. So we can finish our excavation now. Wondering why that was taking so long. I'm going to max out my furniture workshop now. And I think I really want to focus on getting some of that as a sellable resource because it's so strong. Now I'm thinking about walling from this area as well, guys. This will be double walled. So once this bit's done, we'll have the wall coming up to here. Bringing it up to kind of cover this area. That should bring us out nice and wide. I think we'll maybe come to here. That might be cool. And the farms will still be on the outside. This will be encompassed. That gives us a little bit more room here. Let's also get this hunter upgraded as well. And then what we'll do is potentially wall from this. So we got a choice here. We could bring it up through here. Might be good. And that will go with the style we're trying to go with here. It's kind of hard to carve it out though. We'll keep trying. I'll keep going with the carving here and see what we can do. Just need to go a little bit at a time, I think. So this is fine. Let's try and also then go... I think we need to come from here. That's the smartest way of doing it. 
1,046 crops lost due to frost. Unexpected frost spell. Cheers. Nice. That's a lot. Anyway, back to the trading. We'll, we'll get rid of those. You got anything for me? What have you got? Soldiers and guards do 15% more damage. I'd love to buy that one. We may end up getting it from our thing, though. Right, we'll buy in a little bit of smoky fish. I don't think there's anything this one's got for us. There's a little bit of stone. Maybe we can bump ourselves up with that. You got any sand, actually? No sand. Got no coal. Bump ourselves up with that, and let's uh, let's up up this. Then looks like we're struggling. Probably shouldn't have took that one out of there, should I? Oh no, that's a lie. We've got some. Hey, we got our first bit of cheese in, guys. Look at that. There it is. They need. I don't need to put any more in these. These guys just need a bit more milk. Unfortunately, we don't get enough yet. That should increase as we go along then. Uh, here comes the livestock animals. I wonder if we're getting our chickens yet. I think it's mostly... <laughs> they slaughtered yet? Horses don't seem to be going up either. I think it's just chickens coming in. 21 of 24. Nice. That's more eggs that we can bring in. 25. I don't know what's going on with this one. I really don't. Overpopulated. Why don't you slaughter one then? Ah, there we go. We fixed it. It's gone. I just had to manually slaughter one and now it's fixed. It's finally showing correctly. And second merchant as well. Let's take a look. Is there anything we can sell to you? What's that one? Our soldier upkeep cost reduced by 30%. I'm buying that, guys. Buying it. 2,700. Got no gold. No, I need to make some gold. Damn it. Uh, let's get two of you in. Tell you what, we'll get a couple of the swords in as well. Hopefully that'll fix it. I can sell these in, and then we'll we'll buy... What are we buying again? That one. Then that'll give us more gold income overall, I think. I, I would rather just go ahead and sell both of those. We'll go ahead and sell all of those. So we've actually got some spare. And then what we'll do is buy you. 30% upkeep. A great one. We're going to change that one to Gildar's coin purse. Now that does mean our food spoilage won't be as good. So we probably need to get a Cooper. But look at that. Straight away, we've got a better thingy so let's look at the cooper as well is that tier three that was tier two actually wasn't it i think it's under storage i was trying to remember where that was yeah there it is tier three cooper under storage that's more planks that's something we can utilize right now and we can squeeze it right there beautiful that old age oh we got more raiders you cheeky sods Probably should have my people over there kind of defending them then, shouldn't I? That's fine. We'll deal with that now. We'll send them in anyway. How far along are we? 41%. All right, here they go. Straight in. Slicing them up. It'd be a pretty straightforward win for my soldiers, I would say. Oh, they're taking a bit of a beating. One might die. Yeah, we lost one, two, three. Uh, okay. Okay. That I didn't expect. Um, he's wounded. You actually need to go ahead and hire them again, don't you, as well, which is frustrating. Okay, we lose those weapons. Let's send in the archers then. They should uh, be absolutely fine. We did kill most of them, to be fair. But yeah, that was bad. What are you doing? Are you a soldier? Gathering carcass. Don't know if you're going to be okay to do that over there. Be careful. Oh, the hunters just come in and killed one. Don't die. That's funny, because the hunter nearly actually annihilated them. Come and shoot these guys. All right, you're running straight into my archers here. I love it, man. It's funny. Through the apple trees, they fight. Oh, the rain of arrows. Yes, come back. Come back. Come deal with these. Because they're killing off all my people over here. They've killed five now. Fight him, then. All right, there we go. We're good. Right, let's get this done before more come then. Let's just let's just max that out and get rid of the excavations to stop them coming because they're actually killing off our people a lot there. One thing I did notice as well, I didn't get any more raider camps around here. I haven't had a single one yet, which is, again, really strange. Um, can that go in there? I'm just fixing what's left of these, so I think we'll do that. That cabbage seems to be the play at the moment. Now, I could obviously go ahead and request the cows. That might not be a bad idea to get them in, but I still don't really want to do that. We've got loads of honey coming in. Wondering if we can up our thingies here. I can hear some fighting somewhere. Oh, no, they're nearly done. All right, let's see what we get from that. I bet it's that one we bloody bought as well. All right, that's looking like we almost will be able to get a road going up to that, actually. That's really, really good. Where did I do it? There. 
So I'm going to double flatten over that, and then I'm going to double up on this one here. Like that. That should cover us. And then hopefully we can get that one up there. I don't even think they can run up there if we put these stables on top or next to a tower, maybe. Oh, theatre is done, guys. There it is. The thing of beauty. Oh, what did they get? Villagers get hungry. 15% slower. Crops lost due to drought. Okay, all of that's bad. This might not be a bad idea, but the upkeep of our soldiers is a better one, I think. Huh. Houses are still upgrading anyway. I don't know. That's good, though. Yeah, we lost a whole bunch of crops due to that, man. That was bad. Right, we need to fix... I think we're going to go for a double whammy or one of those. We wanted them in there. Let's try and bring this down a little bit more because they are struggling a little bit now. We want to get more yield from this. Our food stocks are still a relatively rubbish. I'm going to put in a couple more fishing shacks at the start of next episode. But, guys, that is going to be where I end this one out. So thank you, as always, for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. And I hope you have a great day. I'll see you around.